Okay, now we have to discuss about insolvency and bankruptcy amendment for 2020. After discussing about the important amendments of 2020, insolvency and bankruptcy act, we have to discuss about section 7, section uh, 9, and section 10. Okay, then what is section 9 of insolvency and bankruptcy court 2016? Section 10 tells about initiation of corporate insolvency resolution process by financial creditor. If you are a financial creditor, you may initiate corporate insolvency resolution process under Section 7. A financial creditor either by itself or jointly with other financial creditor may file an application for initiating corporate insolvency resolution process against a corporate debtor before the adjudicating authority, that is NCLT, immediately when default has occurred. If you are a financial creditor and a default has been occurred, then you may initiate corporate insolvency resolution process against the company. As for section seven, you may file an application uh, to the adjudicating authority, okay? Yeah, default includes a default in respect of financial debt on not only to the applicant financial creditor himself, but to other financial creditor of the corporate debt. Then, what is the procedure? The financial creditor shall, along with the application, furnish record of the default, name of the resolution professional, proposed to act as interior resolution professional, and any other information as may be specified by the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India. Okay, then and now we are to discuss about uh, section eight. Section eight tells about insolvency resolution by operation creditor. Okay, section nine explain the procedure of corporate insolvency resolution process by operation creditor. If you are an operation creditor, then you may uh, file a petition against your corporate debtor to the adjudicative authority under section 9. An operation creditor on the occurrence of default cannot directly go to NCLT, but first has to deliver a demand notice to corporate debtor. Okay. The corporate debtor shall within a period of 10 days of the receipt of the demand notice bring to notice of the operation creditor existence of dispute of proof of payment. Even after 10 days of demand or devil notice, the operation creditor does not receive the payment of notice or dispute. The operation creditor can file application. If you are operation creditor, um, you have to give a demand notice uh, to the corporate debtor. And even after 10 days of demand or devil notice, the operation debtor do not respond. Then you may please, you may please go to the adjudicating authority for starting corporate insolvency resolution process. Then there's another section, that is section 10. Section 10 is voluntary, is voluntary liquidation proceedings for joint store companies. Section, as per section 10, a joint store company, that means a corporate debtor may itself apply to NCLT for starting the process of corporate insolvency resolution. But there's a condition, if there's any default, then you cannot uh, start, then you cannot uh, give an uh, application uh, for starting voluntary liquidation proceedings. Okay, if there's no default, then you may freely uh, give an application to the adjudicate authority for starting voluntary liquidation proceedings as per uh, Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code uh, 2016. Okay. Then the most important point is now, now the government of India uh, has, has issued an ordinance that is known as Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code uh, Amendment and Ordinance 2020. What are the important portions of the Insolvency and Bankruptcy uh, Amendment and Ordinance 2020? Uh, government of India has inserted a section that is Section 10A. Suspension of initiation of Corporate insolvency resolution process. Notwithstanding anything under any section 7, 9, 10, no application for starting of corporate insolvency resolution process 
of copper debtor shall be filed. That means now, as per the ordinance, section 7, section 8, 9, section 10 have been suspended. As per Insolvency and Bangladeshi Code amended ordinance 2020, Government of India has suspended section 7, section 9, section 10 of Insolvency and Bangladeshi Code 2020. The most important amendment is, is the suspension of section 7, 9, and 10 of Insolvency and the Bangladeshi Code 2016. For any default arising on or after 25th March 2020, for a period of six months or such of the period, not exceeding one year from such date as may be notified in this paper. Then there's an explanation. Provided that no application shall ever be filed for starting a corporate insolvency resolution process of corporate debtor for the set period occurring for the set default occurring during the set period. Provided that no application shall ever be filed for starting a corporate insolvency resolution process of a corporate debtor for the set default occurring during the set period. Is that another explanation? For the removal of doubt, it is hereby clarified that. The provisions of this section shall not apply to any default committed under section 7, section 9, and section 10. Under the subsection before 25th March 2010. Okay, thank you.